Okay, so here we are, back at the back at the poor old boat. She's been sat for well over six months now and no work. Uh, we're well into the wet season, lots of rain. Well, in fact, you know, probably that's probably a bit unfair. We haven't had lots of rain. When we've got rain, it's been a bit heavier and blustery, but um, it hasn't been anywhere near as heavy or as frequent this time um, in this wet season. So thankfully, everything's not too boggy and wet, but still it rains regularly enough to make it difficult to work. So what I'm going to do, which I think I mentioned previously, was I'm going to just tack weld some tubes along the top of the gunnels there um, and put a, some bars across the top of the boat and just put some covers over. Now, I don't think I'm going to really worry too much about trying to waterproof it it'll be too hard and, and it will take a lot of expensive materials and when we get the big storms here the weather will just rip them up so I think what I'll do is put some nice dense shade cloth over the top just to keep the sun off of me because in general when it does rain sometimes we only get it for 15-20 minutes uh, maybe once or twice a day in the morning and afternoon and the bulk of the big storms are in the evening so I can work around that most of the time um, but I do want to get going again. We know we've ummed and ahed about it, you know um, Shall we mothball it for a year or two and do something else and that but I just you know every time I come up here it, It's heartbreaking to see it sitting there not progressing. So um, We're definitely going to move on um, as from this week So that first the first steps will be obviously to put this framework over the top And it'll be just something very basic from some old steel tube. I've got to, uh, to keep the sun off of me. Um, I think I mentioned in that last short video I did a few weeks back, this, this red um, primer, this dark red primer, it gets so hot, um, it, it burns your skin. If you leave your hands on it for long enough, it'll actually blister your skin. It gets so we get, up, we get up to the high 30s, low 40 degrees C here sometimes, so it's really hot. So that shade, and I'm gonna extend it over the sides of the boat a little bit too. So that will keep the heat off most of the surface, top surface of the boat, and um, that should reduce the heat on the steel and also inside. Because pretty soon I'm going to be moving inside, there's still a lot of work to do inside. But I just want to get this top surface uh, tidied up and knocked off. What we'll do in a moment, I'll get the ladder up and we'll go up, have a look around on top of the decks, and I'll take you down inside and have a look around and we can see where we're at and what needs to be done before I can really start to progress the fit out and there is as I said still a lot to do and just following up with that shade that I talked about putting over the top of the boat once I've done that the next step will be to get these four um, rear fixed port lights into each side so the ones you can see there they're um, in the rear berth under the poop deck I want to get the frames for those put in and uh, get the Perspex windows in them. Um, we, we did toy with the idea of making them openers, but um, it's, it's, it's quite complicated and quite expensive and uh, I don't know that it's a good idea. Anyway, that's what I'll be moving on to next. Um, just in regards to those, those four rear port lights I just mentioned um, so mid to late last year I did start to make these frames to go in um, and my first first lot of frames that went in the in the cabin area went really well and I made these ones but I've noticed that they've actually changed shape quite a bit from welding and I don't know if you can see those corners it's hard to tell I suppose but the corners have pulled in a little bit so they're really not the right shape and I'm not happy with them and I've made the, the four of them, but they're all the same. They've all gone out of shape. So I'm just going to have to cut those and, and rework them to get them in a much more rectangular shape. That won't be too much of a problem. It'll just be a bit of mucking around over a weekend. And then I'll start to fit them into the, into the sides of the hull under the poop deck. 